Well, hello there. <laughs> Today it's from a different angle in our apartment. And that's the case because today I really do need a mirror to do what I want to do because I want to cut my bangs. A lot of you guys actually asked me for, oh, for the years actually if I could make a video about how I cut my bangs. And I was always a bit hesitant with that because I thought, okay, that will be the quickest, most boring video ever. But you guys asked for it, so... <laughs> It's your choice, how you want to spend your time. Yeah, I always thought, okay, this is painfully easy. I just get my rings off while talking to you because I will use some hairspray and I don't want hairspray on my jewelry. Obviously, it's not good for it. I think the shape of my bangs is not very common. I never really thought about it. The main reason why I even have bangs is because I have a super, super huge forehead, as everyone in my family, like, and it even like extends to the side. I just have like a lot of forehead space, which I can appreciate now because I can glue a lot of stuff to my forehead, which is nice uh, for my kind of style, at least. I tried to wear my hair without having bangs and maybe I can even insert some pictures here and yeah, on photos is even more extreme because if you look from a little bit of a higher angle my forehead looks even bigger even though i have nothing really against it like it's not it's not over the top flattering let's say it like this it makes you look like an alien which could be cute and for some looks it works but i just like to hide a little bit of my giant forehead <laughs> under some hair just like this. I will first brush it to the front because right now my bangs are actually, for my taste, pretty pretty long and I think for some of you guys they will already look quite short but for me they don't because I never let them grow over my eyebrows. The reason for that is I just really really love how I draw my eyebrows. I want to show my eyebrows <laughs> to the world and also like, as I said, my main reason for having bangs in the first place is that I want to hide my forehead. But I don't want to hide, like, all of my forehead. I just want to create the illusion of a smaller forehead. Kind of like this. I would cut them here, like, very, very, very short. But if I'm lazy, like I was in the last few weeks, days, then I just let it grow out and I never wear it like this because I don't really like that kind of look that much especially on my face but i would just do it like this like do it to the side just brush a little bit to the side and the other one to that side and then i just put some hairspray in it and then it works and i wear like this kind of side bangs very very often i mostly brush them to the side even with very very small bangs and that was in the beginning just an accident because like my hair is just all over the place and it does what it wants to do <laughs> and I can't tame it that good. So if I wear my bangs like this, like there just needs to be some wind and I'm living in Hamburg so there's wind all the time from the sea. And uh, yeah, then it looks like this or like this or like this. And as you can see, it looks really bad and for me it's just easier to tame my bangs when they are like this. Even when I have tiny, tiny bangs and I really, really like this look. But now you know the reason why I do have bangs, why I like to wear them to the side. And yeah, now I'll show you how I cut them, which is super easy. Is I will use some hairspray and I will definitely try to not spray it onto my jewelry because hairspray is bad. It's really, really bad for it, guys. And I have a scissor that is only for hair because then it's extra sharp. And I bought it at a, at a hairdresser. I can really recommend it. The brand, I think it's called Stain. No, it's called Jaguar. Okay, now I just start here and work my way up to the top. 
And I'm curious to see if I fuck this up now. Because I'm always a bit anxious while filming. And I will take this longer piece of hair that I forgot the last time. Ooh, I think since I've been doing it so often and already the filming <laughs> Also the... But as you can see now my those tiny hairs are all sticking to my forehead and it's actually it's been so hot the last couple of days i'm not used to these kind of temperatures it's always been over 30 degrees which is quite a lot for north of, for the north of germany i wouldn't cut them any i think maybe like they are not super even i think this i think it looks really good I say it? I think it looks nice. And as you can see, like, please ignore the hair sticking to my face. But as you can see, it gives the illusion of a smaller forehead because you could think that my forehead stops around here and not goes like up to there. <laughs> Maybe it's working. I think it's working. Ah, let me see. But if the bangs are so so short, it also looks really really nice to wear them very straight like this i think so let me first fix the hair on my face before i talk to you but yeah i will try to brush them off with a makeup brush behold this beautiful huge forehead in all its glory when i talked about like the tiny bangs to the side This is actually what I've meant when I wear it like this most often and I think it's pretty cute. <laughs> I really really like it. I love these tiny things. Yep, I will keep them like this. These are my bangs and this is the long awaited how to cut your bangs or how I cut my bangs. Uh, video i hope i could help some of you guys so all all the peeps with huge foreheads consider tiny banks and yeah thank you so so much for watching i hope this still was interesting for you guys even though it was very very easy but yeah thank you bye bye have a wonderful day